Hello, everyone. Hello to all that are joining us by Zoom and on the Facebook stream. Thank you for joining to this project presentation session Hello, of the. Everyone. Hello to all that are joining us by Zoom and on the Facebook stream. Beatrice, can you? Thank you. Sorry for this technical um, misfortune, but we can continue. So my name is Georgi Volk and I'm an assistant for regional development and data collection at European Coral Association. And I'm also responsible for trainings and educational program. As we are recording and streaming the webinar on Facebook, I would like to ask everyone who doesn't want their face to be seen to turn off the camera. And I would kindly ask everyone to be muted during the presentations. So today we will listen to four and not five project presentations due to unforeseen work commitments. Mr. Milan Janic excused his presence. So today we will not hear the presentation of Brain Friendly Sustainable Opera. But all other presenters are today with us and I warmly welcome them. And also Dermot O'Callaghan, president of the board of the European Choral Association is also with us. And um, hello, Dermot. I would just like to take this opportunity to kindly invite you to say a few opening words. Thanks so much, Yoji, and hello, friends. Uh, lovely to see everybody online, uh, which is something we got very used to during the pandemic, but thankfully uh, in a lot of cases, we are getting away from that next week when we meet in person uh, in Novi Sad in Serbia for many of us. And for others, this is a great opportunity to to really capitalize on what was a really positive aspect of the pandemic. For instance, this um, members project presentations, which we actually found worked really well online, um, unlike some other things which worked really poorly online, such as synchronous singing. Um, but we, with our project presentations, found this gave access to more people uh, and gave us the opportunity to record it in a better way and for us all to benefit from each other's knowledge. Uh, so it's a great pleasure to see you all and to um, I really look forward to the project presentations today. And uh, I think I am passing the word to Sonia next, but just to thank um, our, uh, sorry, to thank the EU and the Creative Europe funding. And of course, as part of Ignite, this is a really important part of the project. And I'll pass the word to uh, Sonia in relation to that now. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, so before we start the actual project presentation session, um, uh, I think, Yuri, it's my turn to say something about the IGNITE project. So most of our members, I hope in the meantime, have heard about IGNITE because we are coming to the end of the first year of this project that is um, co-funded by the European Union Creative Europe program under the um, strand of network funding. And I'm happy to welcome among the participants, the listeners, Olga Sismanidi, our project um, um, officer, who is also following the session to see what we are doing in the project. and. Um, the IGNITE project wants to contribute to the European Green Deal, so we are dealing with topics such as environmental sustainability, increased diversity, inclusion and equity in the sector of collective singing, but also empower and train people in the sector and make use of modern technology. And we have different subtopics or work packages, as they are called by the European Union. And um, these networking cafes are part of the network part of our project which is actually the one with the biggest amount of class it includes our membership weekends um the friends association that we are supporting youth involvement and networking with a lot of other organizations and what we're doing today is the first of a series of networking cafes and um we think it's um, a very valuable um, tool to um, exchange ideas to share um, projects that are exemplary and that can inspire others and um, since we can have more people watching online I mean we have the people watching here now in zoom and the people watching live on Facebook but we will also make it available for others who will watch it later um, we hope that a lot of people will get inspired I found the list of projects presented um, very interesting intriguing and I know that some people who are among the listeners now also want to present a project in a short pitch at the end, so we will have even more exciting ideas um, shared in this group. And with this, I pass the word back to um, Yoji, who will take you through the process. 
Thank you, Dermot, and thank you, Sonia, for this introduction. So before we go to the presentations, I would just like to say a few words about how this session will work. First, something about questions. Uh, there will be an opportunity to ask clarifying questions after each project presentation, but time for more the in-depth questions and discussion will be after all four presentations. So in Zoom, you please just raise your hand to ask question. And if you don't feel comfortable, you can just also write it in the chat. Um, in the Facebook stream, you can ask your questions in the comments and those will be passed to us in the Zoom. If there will be interest, there will also be an opportunity to meet and talk to the project presenters in the breakout rooms at the very, very end of the session. And for further uh, cooperation and communication after the session, you will also find the contact details of our presenters and their projects in the chat. And uh, Sonia already mentioned the one minute pitch possibility. It is the first time that we offer it. So at the very end of all presentations and all questions, all participants in Zoom, you will have the opportunity to present your project and also to invite us to one of your projects in one minute pitch, very spontaneously without visual support. For those of you who want to take this opportunity, just please indicate that in the chat and we will just follow the, the chat uh, schedule. And now I guess we are finally ready to start with our first presentation. I will stop, share my screen, and I will give the word to Henrike Schauerte and Marcel Schmas from Deutsche Kurjungen to present us the project Earth Choir Kids. Henrike and Marcel, welcome. Thank you, Yoji. Um, I think you can see my screen now, do you? Perfect. Yes, hello everyone also from my side here from uh, Germany, from Deutsche Chorjugend, uh, the uh, Youth Choir Federation here, the national one in um, Germany. Representing the interest of young singers, choirs um, here in Germany and um, I would like to start with this impressive pictures um, going along with a, a short poll, which I will share with you now. And I would like you to uh, read through it and answer very quickly. You get like 20 seconds, 20, 30 seconds to um, go through it. The pl a plastic produce, uh, producer's sofa would be enough to wrap the world in once with foil, three times with foil or six times with foil choose now and then in which country is there a ban on plastic bags in Rwanda in Brazil or in India dun, 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 dun. you got oh there's nothing moving anymore I assume it ends yes so we see the results. It's not that certain, actually. So we will um, we will figure out what it is. So the a plastic produced so far would be enough to wrap the world actually six times with foil. And um, the country in which there is a, tr uh, a ban on plastic bags is Kwanda. So, as you see, we all still have uh, something to learn about the topic of climate change and um, some background information. And um, this brings us straight into our project, which we like to present to you today, which is the Earth Choir Project. And um, we, as the um, Deutsche Chor Jugend, um, we catched up with this um, spirit and the movement of the young people who inspired all of us adults, grown-ups everywhere, although all, all over the world, going on the streets to protest and to uh, raise their voices against climate change and uh, especially the behavior of how we um, deal with the environment. And um, the Earth Choir project um, took this impulse um, to 
with different um, different stakeholders here um, to bring um, to publish a songbook um, around this topic. And I would also at this point like to um, say warm welcome to Reinhard Horn, the initiator of this uh, project and uh, its a contribution um, from our association and other um, actors within this project uh, to support kids and children, uh, children and youth choirs to um, express and to raise their voices also within concerts and performances. And after uh, this short introduction, I'd like to pass the word to Marcel, my colleague from the board of the um, German Youth Choir Federation. Yeah, thank you, Herrn uh, Rieke. Uh, yeah, the clue of the project, uh, our member choirs do not have to buy um, the book. So, Henrique, could you please switch? Yes. So uh, we have a book and we have a CD. And the clue, our member choirs do not have to buy the book. Um, but uh, got this book from us as a gift. So with this, we want to thank them uh, for their tirelessly crafting new methods to rehearse with their choirs despite the corona crisis. And with the book, we were able to give them new songs with which they can encourage people to sing. In times of multiple crises, it is even more important to find a common language. Furthermore, we bought uh, the copyrights for our member choirs so that they only have to pay the GEMA fees uh, when they perform. Under the motto Together for the Climate, uh, we used uh, our association structure for the distribution of the book. Um, it is very important to us that member choirs see their state association as strong partners. Thus, the distribution of the book took place over the National Federation structure the significantly strengthened the connection between the state associations and the member choirs. However, all of this only works together in cooperation with wonderful other partners who care about the environment and the changes brought about the climate crisis. The book contains one third existing songs on the topic, one third newly written songs, and one third traditional songs set to polyphonic songs by like uh, Tina Fries and Oliver Gies. And uh, Nina Ruckhaber from the, uh, our board has been uh, involved in the editorial group. And in addition to the songs, uh, we provide numerous materials free of charge like background information on the songs and the climate crisis, uh, practical tips for core uh, rehearsals and beyond, and uh, the CD for the project. And uh, even more, we have templates for tickets and posters and as well print on t-shirts or bags available and included. So for the member choirs, it should be as, less, uh, as little effort as possible to organize Earth Choir Kids concert. So using the association structure to distribute distribute the various tasks has uh, contributed to the success of this project. You're muted. Yes, sorry. <laughs> you get a little uh, impression of Earth Choir uh, concert. We had a big concert uh, launching the project um, just a few months ago. And um, why did we do this quiz in the beginning? It's not just that the choirs get material uh, songs around this topic. Also, um, there are a lot of um, fun game um, game suggestions, proposals, um, ideas and concepts um, for um, young singers to learn more about um, the topic around the climate change. And also to, um, yeah, to, to deal with the, uh, with the topic. Um, so this is um, this was a short introduction to our book, um, which is like a beautiful book um, designed beautifully with a lot of uh, nice graphics and um, also a translation to English um, is planned here for this book.
Thank you, Henrique. Was that all? And Marcel, yes? Uh, one moment. I don't know why I can't change right now. Oh, there we go. There you have the contact um, from uh, Reinhard uh, Horn and also our contact details, which, which we also love to share with you in the chat or um, after, when on requirement. And uh, also, we will bring some uh, samples to, um, to Novistat next week. If you're interested, just let us know. Thank you, Marcel and Hendike. Very nice project for kids and for adults and for environment. Thank you. Do we have any questions for Henrique and Marcel? Sonia, yes? I just had a question because it may be interesting. If I remember well from my conversation with Reinhard, you're lo looking also for possible partners to internationalize this project on the long run. Is that correct? Or you are not sure about this yet? <laughs> I think it is definitely uh, an idea on um, going the international way. If um, Reinhard likes to, to say a few words about it. Um, feel no, I didn't want to trigger because we will take time yeah. away from the others. I just wanted to know if this is the case, then people can come back with questions at the end um, about that as well. And they can think mm -hmm. about it a bit. OK. Thank you. Yes. So thank you, Henrik and Marcel, again. And now we can go to the second presentation, right? We will uh, see the presentation titled Vital, that talks about the Tutercella Choir, the choir that despite the difficult uh, circumstances and conditions in their country manages to perform, to preserve, and to introduce the Georgian music to the world. Conductor of the choir is Tamar Guadze, that is also today with us, and also the singer Nino Vasalia that will present their life and the life of the choir and the projects. Tamar and Nino, hello, the floor is yours. <laughs> First of all, welcome and thank you for attending our presentations and thank to uh, ECA team for giving us an opportunity to tell audience about our choir. Um, uh, so, I present to Tarcella uh, from Georgia. When there was a hard time in Georgia, uh, difficult um, economic and social problems, uh, Tamar Bozzi created Women Choir to Tarcella. At that time, singing in the choir was the only and essential vital part in members' life. This is the uh, uh, why we chose a uh, title vital to uh, the presentation. Um, every member of uh, our choir was attending every rehearsal with a full of happiness, uh, despite the problems which was in Georgia in uh, um, late, early um, 2000 years. Uh, happy woman, uh, sorry, I should. Uh, But this is, does the slide change? Not, no, it didn't change. Let's Can you maybe just yes. try again to share yeah. the whole presentation? Yeah, you may have to go back to okay. PowerPoint yeah. and do it. Uh, yes, now it worked. Now it works. Uh, happy okay. Thank you. Woman. Uh, this is uh, how Tutorial was uh, presented in documentary uh, pro uh, directed by German director Ruth Olsen. In the film, Tutorial sang uh, energetic Georgian folklore song, not only for men's songs, but of women's song, but also for men's. This is not a tradition in Georgia. And Tutorial was the first choir who sang uh, the folklore songs uh, for men. Um, though the film I have mentioned above, uh, we were introduced to Swiss uh, choirmaster Francisca uh, Belti, uh, who uh, came to Georgia uh, with uh, his uh, with her uh, choir. That's our uh, that's how our friendship began. Uh, we shared repertoire, held concerts and festivals in Germany, Switzerland, Austria and uh, so on. We had exchange projects with Lunenburg Choir, uh, with Berlin Singfrauen, with the uh, choir uh, from Berlin, Fix uh, and Nixon, and so on. 
uh, I want to show some of the recordings, um, some of the project which Tamara held uh, with the European Choir. At the same time, Tamar created a choir of, of foreign female diplomats, uh, Tutarcella International, which was all operating in Tbilisi Goethe Institute under the patronage of Maya Henning, the uh, wife of former uh, German ambassador in Georgia. Um, and then uh, in 2009, uh, on the basis of the music school operated by Tamar, uh, she created a new generation of Tutarcella called Tutarcella Youth Choir, um, which continues the tradition of women's, women's ensemble and also sings um, world folklore, classical music, rock, pop music arranged for a uh, mixed choir. And I want to mention that this is a first uh, mixed choir in Georgia. Um, Tamar uh, mixed uh, boys and girls in one choir and it was like uh, booming uh, here in our country. Was uh, Choir was the first who opened the boundaries of tradition performance per and performs traditional songs, modern music and experimental uh, music. Uh, Tamar uh, mixed Bach, um, arranged um, songs from Bach to Rammstein, uh, from back to Georgian folklore and so on, so on, for, so, uh, so on. Uh, I want to show to Tuttle has performed uh, several times in Europe, for example, Hamburg in 20, uh, 2014, uh, Basel in uh, Switzerland, uh, Tbilisi, project of the embassy of the Federal Republic of Germany, uh, uh, Bad Switzerland 2018, uh, Lithuania 2018, Dresden Festival 2018. Uh, this is all uh, to the Chile Youth Tour in Germany this year 2021. And I want to show the recording of uh, Bad Hersfeld Festival. Uh, This was 40 Georgian, uh, 40 singers from our group and um, uh, approximately 120 singers from the Georgian, uh, from the German uh, choir, Buttersfeld choir. Uh, the project with the Sweden embassy in Tbilisi and the uh, so main uh, part of our um, our life uh, because of the tutorials working in Europe some of songs became popular. Uh, four CDs and sheet music book was published uh, uh, in Germany. The presentation of the book took place in 2019 at the International Book Fair in Frankfurt. This book is used by many Georgian song lovers in, in the world. Uh, so uh, workshops, which is held by Tamar in Europe, for uh, five times in a year, Tamar uh, conduct Georgian song workshops and seminars in Europe. There's a huge interest in and uh, in uh, the traditional Georgian songs, which has great inner strength and known its uh, for its polyphonic. Uh, and uh, this is one of the uh, main uh, workshops. This um, since is one of the main uh, workshops in Switzerland. For example, Tamar is singing uh, in. Workshops are held in uh, cities Hamburg, Winterthur, Berlin, Frankfurt, Basel, Leipzig, Lunenburg, and so on. Uh, also, this is a uh, video material from uh, workshop two. <laughs> This 
is a Georgian um, folk, Georgian traditional instrument. Uh, also, I want to add about Zoom meetings. Since 2020 pandemic year, Tamar has been working online with various groups uh, in Georgian and uh, abroad for this time. She has two groups. In addition to that, uh, Tamar uh, plans to create Georgian European choir uh, next year. Uh, and we think this is a main way to uh, for Georgia to uh, Europe. Also, uh, she has workshops in Georgia every year since 2018. Groups from Switzerland, Germany and Austria come to Georgia, get to know the country, history, cuisine, wine, traditions, uh, intensively study Georgian songs for three, four hours a day with authentic and local uh, ethnophores, meet their population and listen to concerts. Uh, also, there is a uh, the recording uh, uh, the um, visitors sings uh, 12th century uh, Georgian uh, Georgian songs written in 12th century, which uh, Tamar uh, taught them. In addition to this, uh, Tamar has workshops with Yosh Choir too, Yosh Choir too, sorry. Um, we are holding in uh, several cities in Georgia some workshops and people from these cities are attending and have fun with us. After that, uh, pandemic, after pandemic, uh, it was essential to have innovation in working methods. So Tamar adds some European methods to Georgian folklore, and this is one of the um, one uh, um, uh, folklore song, uh, Georgian folklore song, with uh, um, methods of Kodai, Babne, and uh, Orf. Uh, you can see boom wakers, and we can see. It again. Thank you uh, for your attention. Uh, it was nice for us to have chance chance to uh, uh, get to know you and uh, to represent our choir to Europe. <laughs> thank you, Nino, and thank you, Tamar. This is just uh, behind the screen. Yes, hello, Tamar. Thank you for presenting us part of the life of your choir. We can only congratulate you and the singers for all the achievements and all effort you put into preserving and developing the choral music in your country. So if you have any questions, um, please just raise your hand or write in the chat. If there's nothing, we can go now to the third presentation and let's see what is new in Norway. Chetil Oman and Eric Stim from Nordic Zanger Forum will present us new digital tool for Choral singers, Co choir mate, if I pronounce it correctly, choir mate. So, Eric, I think you will take the word and present us the tool. Thank you very much, uh, Yoshi. So, uh, you can hear me all right? Good. Yes, thank you. So, I'm Eric from Norway. Uh, very nice to be here. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, choir mate. So, like all of you, uh, I love singing. And when I started singing in the choir several years ago, I, um, I was a bit disappointed about how things were organized and how hard it was to get started practicing uh, on my own. So that's what, that's, that was a start of Choirmate, uh, really, to make something that would organize and make things easier. So we're going to have a look at the different things you can do in Choirmate. Uh, if this is at all interesting, uh, you're welcome to... Um, to visit the link below or scan the QR code, and you're able to try it out on your own in a demo uh, group or a demo choir that we've created for the occasion. So first and foremost, in this tool, uh, you find ways to practice better in choirs. So you can bring your own materials, uh, your own sheet music, your own audio files, 
and upload them to your group in Quarabate and then make rehearsing a lot easier, either if you're on a weekly rehearsal or if you are doing it on your own at home. So we focus a lot on playing audio files and reading sheet music. You can easily bring up um, the audio files and listen to it while you're commuting or walking in the woods. Uh, you can easily read the sheet music alongside, uh, which I found hard when using, for example, Dropbox. Uh, you would automatically have the audio file stop when you pulled up the, uh, the sheet music. You can also bring up uh, the piano if you want to find your tune. Uh, there are ways of sharing uh, notes, uh, remarks across your voice group and choir um, in the in the group, and you can also do recording in the app and instantly share it with the rest of your choir. That's typically something you can do during uh, the weekly rehearsal, or the conductor can do that in advance. So, if you need a group tool to organize everything, you need the basic set of features you would expect. So we put a lot of effort into building a good messaging feature that works well with four choirs. And uh, there's also a shared calendar, which you can uh, find your weekly rehearsals or, or your concerts. And we focus a lot on the attendance registration as well, because we know that's important for a lot of uh, choirs that uh, needs this as a basis for their financial support uh, programs. And for every member that joins your choir, you can also assign them a role. If they have a special responsibility in your choir, you can easily give them an administrative role or an editor uh, to help run the operations of the choir. So this is available today on uh, an app for Android and iOS. You can use it on your tablet, it works great, and also on your phone, or you can use it on your desktop browser. Now, there's a lot of happy users, so we're very proud to see that a lot of the feedback we're getting is good. Uh, some people are talking about that it's a revolution for how they actually practice. They practice a lot more and their results is, is better. And that's really good news for us because all we want with this is for us to be able to sing better and sing more because that's what we experience ourselves as singers uh, being the best. So who are we? Uh, there's a th team of three. It's me as the founder. I'm singing the tenor voice in uh, one of the largest choirs in Norway. And there's Viveke, who is a uh, conductor. Uh, and there's Vin, who is a board member and bass, singing a bass. So very quickly now, I will show to you what it looks like. So what you see in front of you right now is um, the web version of Choirmate. And I'll also pull up the app, which looks like this to our right. So for the occasion, as mentioned, I created a demo choir for um, the European Choral Association. So right now we have an event ongoing. I can go ahead and check into that to show that I'm attending this uh, membership project uh, presentation. And so far, there are a few of us in the group. Uh, Joshi has uh, joined, so has Jatil from Norsk Sangapurum, and Marcel is the very recent um, user. So you're welcome to try this out if you want. Um, what we put first and foremost is, of course, the repertoire, where you can go ahead in and find the song you want to uh, rehearse. And you can easily play your uh, tenor audio file, for example, bring it up in a, a player like this, where you also can um, where you also can loop specific parts. If it's something you really want to practice, you can easily start looping a specific, specific part of the song, all along uh, reading your sheet music. That was quickly about the app. There's tons of more features, but I don't think we have time to show that. Briefly looking at the web version of Quarimate, we have uh, much of the same uh, uh, materials or features. Next uh, weekend, I would love to be there, but uh, I add the, the event in our shared calendar in Quarimate. And uh, other than that, as an administrator or conductor, it's very easy here to Upload the audio files you have perhaps in your Dropbox folder currently, or uh, as a choir member, go ahead and do rehearsing while you are on a bigger screen. So that's how that looks. So that was the short demo I had time for. Let me get back to my presentation. So it's made and embraced in Norway until now. So we are partnering with the, the choir associations in Norway, among them Norsk Sanger Forum uh, with Kjetil, who will be also uh, answering any questions uh, next week and on the membership uh, 
we can um, about Quermit and probably a lot of other stuff. <laughs> And it's also available now in uh, most of Europe and North America. Uh, it's a really good freemium plan, but you can also trial the, the paid group plan for two months for free if you want to do that. And it's a quite affordable deal if you want to have the full feature set. So that was my five minutes. Uh, I'd love to get in contact with, uh, with anyone who finds this interesting and ask your questions. It could be uh, from the choir member to any uh, a representative from uh, choir associations, and we want to know how this can work for you. So feel free to join the demo choir using the QR code or the link that I shared in the chat. And I'll be happy to answer any questions now or afterwards in the breakout sessions. Thank you. Eric, thank you. Just this afternoon, I joined the application. I haven't explored it, but it looks really promising. So if you have any questions, so Somebody would like to add something? Okay, we're enthusiastic about it and we for sure will use the QR codes to connect and to see how it looks like, right? So maybe the questions will be also at the end. Let's go to our, fi our final presentation. It is from Choral Cultural Association that together, together with IFCM works on World Symposium on Choral Music 2023 and it will happen in Istanbul. I'm welcoming Bura Kondur Erdem to share with us the program and some details that will encourage us to maybe travel next year to Istanbul. Bulak, welcome. The floor is yeah. yours. Yoji, it's a very good idea to travel to Istanbul next year. I will present this with my colleague Gözde, uh, our vice president in the Coral Culture Association. And yeah, and how wonderful presentations before. I think I, I will just buy this app now. <laughs> I mean, really, really great to know about all of this and, and the music in, in Georgia and Henrik's presentation. So we are really excited to see them and we want to share with you the symposium. Well, may, maybe many of you know about the symposium, just to, just to talk very quickly about it. This is a IFCM event. It's International Federation of Choral Music. Uh, of which European Choral Association is also a founding member. And this time it's in Istanbul. So why not take your chance to go? It's in April 25th to 30th. And uh, a lot of, well, a really big program. Um, I can show you just some highlights, but you will see many concerts. There are master classes, lectures, reading sessions. You get to know all kinds of different cultures, choral singing. And uh, the theme is interesting for us, is changing horizons. We believe Istanbul is the perfect place to change your horizons because look, you go to Asia, you can look to Europe uh, or you just cross the bridge, you are in Europe and now you can look at Asia. So you can very easily have a lot of different perspective, not only geographically, but we encourage many, many different singing styles to be present in the symposium. There are 11 invited choirs from five continents. And our special guest is the Estonian Philharmonic Chamber Choir for the opening. Um, yeah, and you can see more about this in the website, which we will tell you, but these are our invited choirs. But you can still participate with your choir in the extended program, if you like. So please check this and sing in the venues of Istanbul. We know many, many fantastic presenters. We just bring you some names here that are there. Maybe some of you, you already know. And of course, we also offer you very good Turkish food, as you see in the, le <laughs> in the left side. Um, and our presenters also come from all over the world. There is a fine balance. And Gözde, would you pick up from here? Yes, sure. Burak, thanks a lot. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, I'll just uh, keep it short to introduce myself, but I'm very happy to hear, uh, be here with you tonight. Um, well, uh, I think I would uh, just want to add uh, what Burak said, uh, that we also uh, designed a local program uh, for the symposium. Uh, and you will be able to uh, actually discover the uh, really dynamic Turkish uh, choral uh, community and choral music. 
um, we are very excited uh, as a community in Turkey right now. We are preparing all together for this event. Uh, also, uh, 2023 is a really important year for us uh, as Turkish people because it's the anniversary, the 100th anniversary of uh, our uh, Republic. So uh, the whole year will be a, a celebration year for us. And uh, we're happy to uh, combine this with the choral uh, beauty, <laughs> actually, in uh, April. Also, um, the venues uh, will be uh, from historical sites to churches and uh, the uh, most technologically uh, advanced uh, <laughs> Atatürk Cultural Center, which is uh, built and renowned uh, recently. Uh, it's an opera hall and um, it's, uh, it's um, it's uh, providing us with very nice uh, places to um, to host all these uh, lovely choirs and the presenters. So um, please come and join us in Istanbul uh, next year. And right. we are all excited to host you. You know, Turkish people are famous for their hospitality. So we hope to give you a warm welcome when you come to Istanbul. And I can already see smiling faces of Jan Schumacher because he's also the chair of our artistic committee. Hi, Jan. And uh, there are many, many nice people in our team. So please join us. Great, yeah. thank you. That was it probably, right? And now it's time for questions. Yeah, we, we try to keep it to five minutes. Yeah. Very nice, thank you. <laughs> so if you have any questions, so just raise your hand and Talk to our all four presenters now, maybe first to Burak, but uh, we, are, we reached the end of our four presentations and it was great to see what are you working on when you get the energy for and thank you for sharing this with our choral world. So now it's time for questions. You can write it also in the chat, I will try to check if we have something. Otherwise. Nothing special. We got all the information needed, right? We have QR codes for the choir mate. We know where Istanbul is. <laughs> how to find information on the symposium. Great. So this is it, I guess. There's no questions. We are approaching to the end of our session. So now you that are with us today have the chance to highlight on one of your successful projects or invite us to one of your events. You have one minute to do a one minute pitch, just spontaneously, no pressure. So do we have a candidate? Is there anything that anyone yes. would like to share with me? Sonia, would you like to help me if I yes, overlook something? There was, was something in the chat and the person is also raising his hand. So oh, Rainer, Rainer Leister from Karus Verlag would like to present a project and um, oh, yeah. I think he can explain himself what it is. Okay, thank you. My name is Rainer. Karos has already been a successful pioneer in the development of apps. Now we are developing something radically new, a digital conducting school. You know, the main way to learn conducting is to practice, practice, practice. And our amazing new feature with this app, you can control and check yourself. Yes, and hello, my name is Jan. Uh, I am also connected to this project. And uh, the aim group for this app is very big. So all musicians who want to improve their conducting technique uh, can get inspired by this app. Music students, music teachers, choir singers, or all the people that want to educate themselves from a basic level to advanced conductors. And uh, we are working now on creating many different features for this app. And uh, we have some features that already exist and some others that we are dreaming of. So um, of course there are basic features that you would expect like a metronome or explanation videos for different requirements of conducting technique. Uh, but we try to go beyond that a bit. So this app will be separated into several learning levels. 
to create a kind of uh, gamification for this learning process. And we go step by step from the first moves and basic informations to much more complicated topics. And also we want to create the option that everyone can control his learning process right away. So we offer loop videos like very basic, the conducting patterns, and you can switch off your own web camera and you record yourself. You will be projected next to the loop video and so that you can compare the movements. And as a second feature, you can also overlap your video to the loop so that you see yourself conducting parallel. So that is our start and we are very excited to build this up and create more ideas and features. And so if you are interested in further information, uh, I'm very happy to answer questions and talk about this next week in Novi Sad. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rainer, and thank you, Jan. Exciting news about this new, also digital school. We have one message. Oh, it's me. Ah, okay, it's you. It's Rainer. me about thank the you. app. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Any hand up that I missed? Not really. So. Is anyone probably not interested to join our presenters in breakout room? So we, there's no need probably to, to do it, okay? You have in the chat all the context so that you can reach them whenever you will decide and you will have the time or questions. So at the very end of our session, I'm going to pass the word to my colleague in communications, Beatrice, hello. Um, so that she will share with us some ways how we can stay in touch also after this session. And I will just share a screen with you. Yeah, thank you, Yoji. Hi, everybody. Uh -huh. Thank you for everybody for sharing uh, with us your very interesting and inspiring projects. Um, so I wait for you, Yoji, to share yeah. slides. Yeah. I will share a screen and we have it now, I hope, yes. Okay, so I, I think uh, most of you already know um, the association channels, but I will uh, will try to be fast in just repeating that we can find us, you can find us on uh, um, social media, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube and LinkedIn. We don't know about TikTok, maybe in, in a couple of years. <laughs> so, but I think we have enough for the moment. So um, we update regularly uh, on all of them. And um, okay, next one, Yoji, thanks. Uh, and uh, also uh, we uh, produce a monthly newsletter and you can uh, subscribe yourself through the website. Um, you see here, maybe I can also put it in the chat. Um, that you can find us, um, I mean, you can subscribe and find a, um, a monthly news flash every month in which we, um, we share with you what's new in the association, but also in the European International Choral World and more in general in the cultural sector. And um, Yes, so um, from last year, we started a campaign uh, called Benefits of Singing. Um, also, in this case, you can find everything on the website. Uh, in this campaign, we want to highlight uh, the benefits of collective singing, and we actually um, invite you to endorse our campaign, sharing like communication material, and uh, um, you can find actually a toolkit where you find all information uh, on the website. So I think um, we said it all, Yoji. Thank you very much again. And uh, yeah, we see you soon in Novisad for the ones who will be participating. Otherwise, uh, until the next uh, uh, presentation or online meeting. Thank you again. Thank you, Beatrice. Thank you for sharing this with us. Uh, like she mentioned in the beginning of the session, we will share with you the link of the recording. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We are there for you. And thank you again for joining in person or also on the Facebook stream. 
I hope to see you in the future webinars and online gatherings. The first option to join us online will be on 14th December at five o'clock in the afternoon when we will have our online networking session for the end of the year. But I hope like Beatrice and Jan and all others that we will meet you also in Novi Sad. From our side, that's all for today. So I wish you a wonderful rest of the evening and all the best. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, everybody, and hope Thank to you. see you soon. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. <laughs> bye. Bye. Bye bye. Have a great evening. Bye bye. Thank you.